here transducer is a device which converts energy from one form to another form what is the example here while we are talking in a microphone the microphone will be transducer it is converting the voice signals into electric signals transducer is a device which converts energy from one form to another form the best example is the microphone microphone converts a voice signals into the electric signals thereafter we see what is a signal signal nothing but what it is uh, it is the information information converted into electric form and which is a uh, suitable for the transmission electric signal first of all uh, information should be connect, converted into electric signal thereafter it is uh, suitable for the transmission through the channel so signal means uh, information converted into electric signal and which is a uh, suitable for transmission is called signal thereafter we see what is a uh, noise noise nothing but these are the unwanted signals which are uh, mixed with the transmitted signals information signals whenever these are propagating through the channel here noise means these are the unwanted signals which are uh, mixed with the information signals when they are these are trans propagating when these are transmitting through the channel which disturbs the transmission here this is the noise then what is transmitter transmitter is a device which converts information signal into suitable form for transmission directly the information cannot be transmitted over long distances to transmit the information over long distances we need transmitter transmitter converts uh, the message signals information signals into suitable form for transmission that is the transmitter then what is receiver receiver is the device which receives the desired required signal from the number of uh, signals which it receives here receiver receives the signals from the channel it receives number of signals from the number of signals it uh, takes only desired required signal and it reconstructs the signal also whenever the transmitted signal is propagating through the channel the channel is a uh, added with a noise means unwanted signals may be adds up with the transmitted signals when these signals are received by the receiver the receiver receives the corrupted form of the signals now this uh, receiver reconstructs the signals and also receiver extracts uh, takes only required signal desired signal and it stops the unwanted signals also and reconstructs the signal at the output of the channel that is the receiver then what is uh, attenuation attenuation means uh, when the signal information signal is propagating through the medium is propagating through the channel it may lose its strength attenuation means it is the loss of strength of the signal whenever it is propagating through the medium or channel is called attenuation means every channel will be attenuated when it is propagating through the channel then we see what is uh, amplification amplification is the process of increasing the strength of the signal why we have to do amplification here why because whenever the channel is a uh, whenever the information signal transmitted signal is propagating through the channel the information signal is attenuated it loses its strength so we have to increase the strength to increase the strength we should do the amplification for the signals now this amplification is done by using a device called amplifier means to compensate the attenuation produced in the information signals we use the amplifier the amplifier increases strength of the signal this process is called here amplification then what is range range is nothing but it is the maximum distance between the transmitter and receiver through which we receive the signals we receive the signals uh, between the transmitter and receiver between transmitter and receiver this is a long distance this long distance is called range range for the signals over which the signals are transmitting then bandwidth bandwidth is nothing but it is the portion of the spectrum occupied by the signal 
the portion of the spectrum occupied by the signal is called bandwidth or the frequency range over which an equipment works for example you take a radio the radio works between two particular frequencies means the radio works over a particular frequency range the frequency range over which that radio works is called bandwidth for the radio and every signal occupies a particular portion in the spectrum means uh, it also has a uh, some frequency range that is called here bandwidth bandwidth means it is the frequency range over which an equipment works or uh, a portion of the spectrum which is occupied by the signal also called bandwidth here then we see what is a uh, modulation Modulation is the process of combining the low frequency message signals, information signals with the high frequency signals. These high frequency signals are the carrier signals. Actually, what happens when we are transmitting the low frequency signals directly, these low frequency signals cannot propagate, cannot transmit to long distances. Now, to transmit low frequency signals, information signals over a long distance, we should mix up we should add these low frequency signals we should superpose uh, these low frequency signals with the high frequency signals now these high frequency signals act as the carrier signals these carriers carries the signals from transmitter to receiver over a long distance means long distance communication can be achieved by the process of uh, modulation only without modulation we cannot uh, try